More solid evidence that Koreans were forced to slave labor at Japanese sites recently bestowed with UNESCO World Heritage status. A local news agency has obtained a 15-year-old report from the International Labor Organization that shows forced labor did take place at those facilities. Our Kim Yeon bin has the details. Yonat News Agency reported on Friday that forced labor at Japanese industrial facilities was proven to be fact 16 years ago. The Seoul-based agency obtained the International Labor Organization report from March of 1999, which states that thousands of Koreans and Chinese were forcefully mobilized to the industrial facilities during World War II. At the time, the ILO labeled the forced mobilization as a violation of the convention. The report lists numerous testimonies of mistreatment and harsh working conditions, which resulted in many deaths. The fatality rate of workers averaged roughly 18 percent, with some facilities at nearly 29 percent. The report also revealed that, unlike what was promised, most workers received little or no pay. The statement read by the Japanese ambassador to UNESCO on Sunday acknowledged that there were a large number of Koreans and others that were forced to work. The ILO's Forced Labor Convention states, the term forced or compulsory labor shall mean any work for service under the menace penalty, which a person has not offered voluntarily. However, Japanese Chief Cabinet Secretary Yoshida Suga maintains that the work at the facility did not constitute a violation. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.